Hello, um, apologies for the shaky phone. This is um, sort of the Jones Zone vlog. I'm calling this the Jones Zone Extra. So this is just for like unplanned videos. Um, excuse my horrible mess of a hair. I haven't styled it. Um, yeah, so obviously there's a the Jones Zone vlog um, where, and I, I plan those and I record like four or five of them at once. This is an unplanned thing. I just wanted to uh, show you some new stuff that I've I've just received, which is why I'm tired because I've been up since about six a.m. waiting for all the uh, all the delivery info to come in for my my two parcels. Um, yeah, and I'm also in the living room, um, which is also weird. Um, and oh, here's my dog, Oscar. Keeping him company today because both my mum and my brother have had to go into work. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go up to the studio and I'm going to switch to my camera um, and going to have a look at what I got. Okay, so we're on the, the camera. Firstly, um, I've, got, I've acquired quite a few new things that I don't think I've shown on the channel yet. Yeah, so i got my Shaw SM7B, which this is going to be for all um, ADR, which is audio dialogue replacement for the fan series and, you know, any movie-based projects. Um, as well as, it's going to be uh, my podcast microphone, when we're able to get back and do the podcast. And also, it's probably going to be used for a few videos um, here and there for the vlog, um, a, f a few of videos that I've, I've got planned which I'm going to put a little bit more effort into um, because generally speaking these vlog videos don't take me very long so that's the, the, the first of the, the new things um, the other is this this finally arrived which is my C-shaped uh, handheld stabiliser um, which works perfectly um, and doesn't appear to feel like it's going to break at all and it's quite lightweight as well which is nice um, yeah it's only a tenner so I was kind of expecting it to arrive and it be broken and me have to be like right well I'm going to have to spend more money on one um, but no it you know, seems fine hasn't really had a chance to be uh, field tested but you know we'll get around to it um, and then yesterday I got these these Durapro uh, MPFV50 batteries, which is the same battery that's in my uh, camera at the moment. But I got it because it came with this 5 volts Durapro uh, charger. Now, um, this was 20 quid, so I took just a, a gamble on it. And I'll be honest, the batteries aren't great. They've got about two hours, 24 minutes per battery. Um, yet yeah, it's a higher milliamp power than the battery in my camera. And the battery in my camera gives me three hours. I mean, the big difference is probably the one that's in my camera is a Sony made battery. So it's, it should work better. Um, but I mean, as extra batteries go, you know, wasn't a terrible purchase, and the charger is a nice addition to that. Um, so yes, that's all the new stuff. So I kind of wanted to do a bit of an unboxing. However, um, one of the items just sort of completely gives it away um, because it didn't come in an outer box, which sort of ruins the idea. But I'm going to try my best to conceal it. So I'm just going to cut because I just want to um, on the one that has my address on it, I just want to scribble it out, so bear with me. So here we are. Um, I tried to find, um, I have like a blue craft knife somewhere, but I couldn't find it, so I had to get a knife, and I've got a box cutter from when I used to work at So those will do. Um, so we'll do it one at a time, we'll start with this, because it's heavy, <laughs> and it's less interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't entirely sure 
Um, what uh, what this was going to come in, actually. I, I thought it wouldn't be shaped like this. I thought it would be... Um, Cause it's sort of like shaped like a guitar box. It's not a guitar. It'd be a very small guitar if it was. It'd be a ukulele. Uh, but no, it's not a guitar. Um, obviously, it is. However, it's like quite useful for me. Oh, oh there's. Bear with me. There we go. Uh, it is not in a separate box, which is interesting. So let's. What it is, and this explains why it's so heavy, is it's a desktop low level. Because I only own one mic stand, um, and it doesn't really work with my new microphone, so I've had to get this. I'm assuming that just bear with me. I'm just gonna screw this on quickly. There we go. Yeah, so it's just, as you can see, a low level desktop mic stand with a weighted base. So it will support the weight of the SM7B. Uh, yeah, and I just need to take this top bit off. See, because this is what I need to get rid of. Because I've got a mic stand where this is the only bit that's on it for some reason. Um, and yeah, I basically don't want this on there. Because uh, the SM7B comes with a specific like ring adapter to like make sure it's tight and secure in place. So yeah, like I said, boring purchase. <laughs> But necessary. Um, I do want to actually say because I find it um, interesting with uh, I don't know what's going on here with the camera. It seems to be all right. That looks about right. Um, something interesting I've noticed with delivery is um, depending on where you order from at the moment, due to obviously the coronavirus situation. Um, depends on your delivery time which is something that like I'm I'm not complaining about extended delivery times but what I am a bit like I'd say miffed about is I ordered this off of eBay and it said fast and free and they said to me it was going to be delivered I ordered it on a Monday and they said to me it was going to be delivered Tuesday or Wednesday I was like well it's probably going to be Wednesday but you know what? fine yeah whatever it's fast and free it didn't arrive till the following Monday so a whole week lapse, they didn't even ship it out till Thursday. And they blamed it on the current situation with delivery, which I would understand, but they never messaged me, they never told me that. Their listing still says fast and free, and it's still saying that like it would deliver at an unrealistic speed. Um, and I, I noticed, because I had the same delivery with the mic stand, it was fast and free, and it's arrived early. So what I think it is, is they've done fast and free 48 um, hour Royal Mail with this one. Now Royal Mail is, their delivery is slower because of the coronavirus, uh, which is fair enough. Um, but if that's the case, you can't say on your eBay listing that it's still offering that free fast and free delivery. You have to say that it's not going to arrive at that time. See, because it's that thing of, I don't think, it's not an issue. Like, I don't mind waiting. 
but don't false advertise delivery that you're not gonna like be able to to keep um so yeah just it's just an interesting little side note um right so this mystery white box which kind of looks like it could be from apple funny enough apple does sell this product uh i want to open it without i want to open the cellophane at least without there we go without revealing what it is so that there is some element of unboxing to it right now this was an absolute nightmare of a purchase because this is just going to be the bane of my life because it was you know not cheap um it is oh the dji mavic mini fly more combo now i really debated long and hard whether i was going to get the regular or the fly more and everyone just said get the fly more so i got the fly more um so let's have a look i've waited about a week for this because i couldn't get a uh, earlier delivery so what we got oh here's the carry case which is massive um chances are i probably won't be using this much and you'll see in an upcoming video why um but i you know didn't know that at the time of purchasing this oh it's all inside here that'd be why that'd be why it's waiting then uh, there's a extra oh there's an extra box uh there's some extra things at the bottom here that i just want to get out i'm not sure how long this bonus video is going to be um but i wanted to do it as like a not a planned video because it's not as uh, it's not as interesting as my usual vlogs so what's this this is all just manuals and information boring stuff which I'm going to have to read because I've never owned a drone before in my life what's this it's got a battery symbol on it so this is probably something to do with the batteries see even though i'm probably not going to use the case much um the extra battery is good uh, and that's exactly what these are but these are the three batteries Put those to the side blimey what's this right Propeller guards. There's a lot of stuff here. Right, I'm going to move the propeller guards out of the way. Um, what's this? This is the plug. Um, cool. Move that out of the way. Right, let's take a look. What do they put in here? They put the... Controller. It's a really nice feeling controller, actually. How do they? I don't know how. Oh, they just. Like I said, I've never owned a drone, so this is quite weird. Um, oh, and the little thumbsticks go inside there. This is really interesting. Um, it's a really interesting experience for me. Um, this this feels nice though. This feels like a real thing, which it should do because, it, you know, if you know anything about drones, this this isn't cheap. However, in terms of DJI drones, it's the most affordable DJI drones. Okay, so these are the extra propellers. So I will probably keep those in the box until I need them. Um, oh, this is the the battery charger case. Uh, really light actually, but apparently you can charge your phone with this as well, which is interesting. Um, what's this? Oh, that's just attached to the case. Uh, 
what's in this box oh it's just the charging cable so we'll just set that to the side here's the drone oh, so, oh it's light it's incredibly light actually um, yeah well interesting here this is my first ever drone um, I'm not going to unfold it or anything because I don't know how to do that um, and again if you know anything about drones this is not like a cheap thing to you know just try and <laughs> start playing around with and um, I might keep the stickers on it to remind me what order um, at least these stickers on the sides just to remind me um, what order I'm supposed to do the propeller arms in but the propeller arms fold out it can fly off your hand. I mean, look at the size of it. This is super light. Everything else had a bit of heft to it, except this. This and the propeller guards are the only things that had like no weight to it. Um, I mean, the, even the controller's got some weight to it. Uh, yeah, so this has probably been longer than I anticipated. But, uh, there we are. Um, I got a DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, yeah, good stuff. All right. Um, I hope you liked this uh, little random Jones Zone extra, and I'll see you all next time.